Hi, uh, my name is Kubam Lee, and you can call me Q. Uh, um, about five months ago, I joined um, Dr. Ziyong Lu's lab in NCBI, and uh, I've been working on this project since then, and I'm working with um, Ionis, who is uh, PI of SwissProd, and um, basically this project is about um, machine-assisted variant curation. Um, and then we are focusing on triage process doing, uh, using machine learning. Let me begin. Okay, um, genomic variant is, information is important in uh, different ways and many, um, for different people. So there, there are many variant, uh, manual curated variant databases available depending on different topics. But um, as we know, uh, number of publications um, it's increasing and too many to manually curate everything. And also, um, this is the, I counted the variant containing publication um, last week, and then it is increasing sharply. So um, it's it's just in abstract level. It's already thirty thousand um, publications per year. So. Um, is it scalable? So like um, Baumgartner et al. Um, showed the analysis that manual curation is not really scalable, but um, like Ionis said this morning, maybe it's possible you, if you use machine learning techniques and text mining techniques well. So because of uh, this purpose, we are using, uh, much, we are, we, we've been working on uh, machine assisted curations uh, with a lot of people. And then this is one of, uh, I will introduce some uh, um, researches that we, uh, our lab was, have been done about this topic. And this is Poptata. And I think a lot of people know about this project. And then Poptata is a tool and the interface that um, can support manual curation. So you can see annotate, uh, biomedical um, entities are annotated. And then also you can see that um, some, some of them are normalized as well. And then um, manual curators, they can just simply click their results, curatable, non-curatable, and to be decided. And then it will be saved in the system. And then they can always check it again and continue again. So behind the Poptata, there are um, tools, NER tools like TMVAR 2.0. So um, TMVAR 2.0 is for a variant name detection and normalization. So you see a lot of different forms of variants here, but these are basically uh, talking about same variant. So TMVAR 2.0 can um, do this normalization. And um, based on these tools, uh, we've been working with SwissProc group, and then this paper, um, Aeon has already talked about this paper, so it is close to scalable. And um, we, we've been also working on um, relation extraction as well. A lot of people in this hackathon are working on relation extraction, I see. And this is the, re the most recent tool that we, we developed. Uh, it, we call it Litvar, and Litvar is literature search uh, search engine for variant information. So we support variant standard, standardization based on TMVAR 2.0, and then we can search uh, full text, uh, result only open access full text, and then we can uh, find the relations as a result, and then we can also, we also support API. So this is the uh, bio-curation workflow. And in this project, we are focusing on this triage process. So um, a lot of uh, manual curation databases, they use PubMed query as a, for triage process, but uh, we don't think PubMed query is not the, PubMed, we don't think PubMed query is the best way for triage because PubMed uses exact keyword matching, which, uh, which is the, the keyword that they type should be exactly uh, contained in the text, and then they can find the 
it as a result. But sometimes it's not. For example, if SysProt is focusing on protein function, but usually the text doesn't have this protein function in the, their text. And a lot of um, databases, they have complex and detailed guidelines. For example, just catalog, they are only focusing on court uh, GWAS with court studies and p-value should be um, under certain numbers and it should be non-tumor related research. And even though we generate all the queries, um, there are too many publications in, in the result. So you, for example, GWAS catalog, they have their own queries. They're using their query, they, they, um, in 2016, there are 10,000 results in this, in, um, for this query, but only 353 are curated in 2016. So we suggest machine-assisted triage. So the, the benefit, if it works well, then it will be um, less search space, and then that means less papers for uh, curators to read. And ranking might be available for some machine learning methods. And then um, it, is, it is a big benefit for curators that um, curators Curators can only focus on highly ranked uh, documents when they have limited resources. And um, it, we can, compared to query-based triage, we can provide highly relevant documents for curation processes. And also, right now, it, we have good environments for machine-assisted triage because um, a lot of deep learning classifiers that do not require pre-processing or feature extractions and we have enough numbers to train our deep learning um, press buyers. So um, these are the pro problems to address uh, in this hackathon. Uh, so we will construct the data set using um, Swiss prod as positive, and then our TMVAR results as negative, and then we can collect the information from PubMed, and then we, we can design the CNN classifier, and then optimization, and we can also consider um, multiple evaluation functions. So we can use precision record F1 score for uh, uh, binary classification, but we can also use um, ROC curve or DCG for um, ranking and scoring function. And we can, um, thanks to SwissProt, um, their manual curator, um, um, uh, Livia, she's, uh, she was helping us to evaluate our um, results. And then um, that result is sometimes different with what we get because they have different um, aspects to see at the for the result. And then um, we can also apply the, the methods that we learned from SwissPro. We can use it to um, just catalog or cosmic or, or any other um, databases. So expected outcome will be we can uh, suggest triage, machine learning assisted triage workflow and we can also uh, provide better environments for manual curators. And also, this workflow can be applicable to other databases because it doesn't require feature engineering or pre or post processing. Um, but um, fortunately, or unfortunately, we, uh, SwissPro group and um, our group worked really hard. So we almost finished all this process already. So um, yeah, um, in this hackathon, if you have any other um, suggestions or any ideas or any other data sets that we can, uh, uh, um, we can use our method to evaluate, uh, then please come to me and then we can talk about it. So um, this is our group and this is the Swiss Pro group and this research was supported by NIH Intramural Research Program in NLM. Thank you.